Hey everybody, this is Amanda from Amanda's Budgets. I'm here to do a um, sinking fund slash um, goal oriented 2023 um, checklist over everything that I want to save in the next year. Um, some of my basic goals, some of my personal goals, and um, what I hope to see um, next year and some things that I'm going to do a little differently. So... Um, I have two different pages to go over here. We'll start with our simple sinking funds. Um, month ahead, I'd like to be um, $1,300, which is my rent um, head uh, minimum, and 3 k would be my r rough amount of how much I would pay in basic bills, so that would be a month ahead. Um, my other sinking fund for car emergency, I'd like to have a minimum of 800, um, maximum a K. Um, I did add, um, a car rental back onto my car insurance just in case I need it. So my car insurance is going to go up a little bit, um, but that's okay. $20 a month is better than spending seven to $800 a week on a car rental, um, Retirement is going to be um, a goal of minimum of 500 um, to 800. I'd like to have it be more, but um, I am splitting it between my hubby and I. Um, we are both um, at zero for um, our Roth IRAs. Um, we do not contribute to um, any sort of social security right now because we're both self-employed. Um, so having some sort of retirement plan um, when self-employed is important. Even if I wasn't self-employed, I'd probably try my best to add something to that every year. I am 33. I do deliver for a living. Um, I am a full-time gig worker. Um, so if you are new to my channel, that is something that um, you must know going forward. Um, also, taxes do not come out of my weekly um, income. I pay taxes at the end of the year, so everything you see is not taxed until um, I have to do taxes. So, yeah. Um, buffer. Buffer is just an account buffer right now. Um, I don't have much of an account buffer. Um, I'm going to be leaving it in the envelope. Um, for the most part, I might put a couple hundred dollars in my buffer um, account because I specifically have one for that, where if something happens in my checking, it can pull from the buffer. Um, so that I'd like to have five to six hundred dollars in a buffer, um, kind of like an oh shit fund. Um, but um, that's just, you know, to keep things smooth. Um, Christmas really threw me off my rocker. Um, mainly postage. Postage cost me $71 to, uh, send packages to everybody that I sent packages to this year, um, including my oldest son. So, this year, I'd like to allot $800. Um, that's uh, basically because each one of us, um, I'm going to try to spend $150 to $200 on. Um, that worked out really well this last year. I spent $211 on Christmas. Um, that included um, a gift for myself, a gift for my dad, which he still hasn't gotten in the mail for whatever reason. Um, a gift for my husband and my two kids, so five people. Um, I feel like that's doable. I might add more to it, but we'll see. Um, my kids like really expensive gifts. They're gamers. They're into Pokemon. They're into, um, you know, like expensive toys, um, especially now that my oldest is going to be 12. Um, we'll just see how that goes. So 800 for gifts, 100 for postage, and then I'd like to have a Christmas party of some sort. Um, my husband is the oldest of seven siblings altogether, five of which, um, you know, he grew up with. Um, so I'd like to get the siblings together and grandparents and kids um, to do a little Christmas party. Um, I am thinking about going to Hobby Lobby if I can get a couple of extra dollars and tips today um, working 
to go pick up some clearance items that will be on sale like Christmas paper plates, napkins. I'm really cheap about that stuff. I try to buy it while it's not in season. Um, so Christmas party I definitely want to do. So that'd be $1,500 total for um, Christmas in general. Um, back to school, 500 That's $250 a kid. I do split this with each parent I co-parent with. Um, my oldest son didn't really need a whole lot. Um, he, I had already sent him a lot before I started um, even doing YouTube. Um, and he did receive some things off of Amazon. Um, my youngest son needed everything, so we went and got him figured out. Um, it cost me around 200 so I figured 250 a piece is not bad, plus dad's helping. I'm pitching in on that. Um, summertime, $800. This is for child care during the summertime. This is for um, any uh, concerts, festivals, um, events around my area. Um, we do have a summer fest that's pretty fun. We have the... Uh, county fair so um our county fair is really super fun um vet emergency um is 300 yes that's low that's low but i don't have to bring my animals into the vet very often knock on desk um not that i'm superstitious or anything but i'm just saying 300 dollars is kind of what i want to have in that um, that's for like allergy medicine for my dog. That's for um, any possible small um, little emergencies that we may need. Uh, eventually, I'd like to build that up, but it's not the highest priority on my list. General savings. Um, I talked about this a little bit in another video. I think general savings just to save is really good to have. So I'd like that to be at 500 Next is my basic big goals, my big plans for 2023. Um, I would like to have a 2K emergency fund. I still have um, I, I still have some hurdles to go through with the emergency fund, um, but that's okay. We're gonna do what we can. I'm gonna try my best to not continue to pull for my emergency fund um, this upcoming year and kind of budget a little bit better. Um, three to 5k winter fund. If you've been watching my channel, you know that I've had not only two um, car accidents that were not um, our fault, but also winter has been really tough. Um, winter is always really tough for delivery drive, um, for gig jobs, because you don't really know if it's going to be busy. Um, yes, there have, have been really good days, but then there's been really, really slow days. So um, we need to really bulk this up. This is just as important as an emergency fund. Um, this would cover uh, snow tires, um, which if you haven't seen my previous video, and I don't know what I did with the slip all of a sudden. I, I was going to have the slip out, um, but the minimum for car, uh, for tires for my car for studded tires is around $700. Um, so having that emergency, uh, winter fund, um, is going to help. Um, that also will cover any, uh, really high energy bills or anything that may be, um, not covered, um, through other things that I stuff. Um, we already went over the month ahead. Um, I actually put 2K here. I'm actually thinking of, of it being 3K. Um, learning to invest my money. That's a personal goal I have. Um, I don't know enough about investing. I have a Robinhood account. I have had a few free stocks and I've spent like maybe $10 on there. And I laugh about that because it's like $2 here, $2 there, $3. Oh, here, here's a five. Um, I just, I don't know enough about it to really invest a lot into it. Um, I have bought into a few big name stocks, um, just because I feel like that's a little safer, but I don't know. I don't know. We can get political with that. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I don't talk about politics on my channel. I feel like that's a little rough. Um, 
Everybody has their own opinion. I have my own opinion. You have your own opinion. We could still be friends. Um, keep paying down debts. Um, I'm really trying to work on my personal debt. Um, that is a debt that will continue to be paid on, but I won't be in the hole. I want to be out of the hole with that. Um, paying off my third credit card down to zero would be really nice. I'm still utilizing my credit cards, you guys, to build credit. Because you're not going to build credit if you don't use credit. Right? Right? I mean, that, that's basics. So, I try to keep everything under 7% paid off at the end of the month. And boom, we're good. Um, I also have some other debts like my car that, that just, that's a big mistake with a bunch of zeros at the end. I slept in that car. I lived in that car. I did not, when I bought that car, I did not have any hopes of finding a place. I was homeless. Um, so I was thinking bougie. Um, however, I do use that car for a living. I use it um, as a tax write-off. So, um, there is that. Um, I also want to let you guys know, um, and this just touches on something personal. Everybody always tells me, but you can write it off. Oh, you can write that off. You can write that off. Yeah, at the end of the year. It's not helping me right now. So, as the year progresses, it doesn't help me. I still have to owe on that car. Um, I also can't write off all of the car. I can't even write off half of the car. I believe it's like 45 or 30%. I don't know. Uh, D from, from it's D. She does taxes. Leave me a comment below. Tell me how much I can write off on my car. I think it's like the negative equity. But anyway, um, I do have a big goal of buying a house either in 2023 or 2024. I'm thinking more 2024, but we're going to see how the economy goes. If the economy is still pretty rocked, I'm going to hold off. But that doesn't mean I don't need this money. Uh, right now it's 10 to 15k minimum just to be looked at for a loan um so i need to get my my booty in gear and uh get this money saved so this is between my house savings and closing cost um spending more quality time with my family so this means my husband and i don't chill on the couch watch netflix play video games while well, he plays video games i don't play video games um, I'm really bad at playing video games. Uh, I don't even know how to really work the Xbox or a PS4 or any of that stuff. I'm an Apple product person, um, strictly, uh, trained, you know, I did tech support. Long story short, I want to do something more than view the TV from my living room seat. That means we are going to go out um, and do some things, bowling, um, I want to have date nights, I want to have, um, nights where we go to the movies, I want to take my kids, um, to outdoor, outdoor active activities, um, we're going to go to more festivals, holiday stuff, um, community stuff that's free, there's lots of free options, um, I love, um, watching one YouTuber, her name is Prepper Princess, she has a whole video on one-time buys, things that you can get multiple entertainment out of just purchasing something one time. Um, board games are a good one, um, outdoor um, activity kits that you can get online, um, things like that. Um, barbecues, I want to do some barbecues. Um, that sounds like a lot of fun. Um, we do live in Oregon, there's a lot of hiking here, biking swimming. Um, we're not really super active people because we've lived here our whole life and we get asked that every time uh, we see people or interact with people. Oh, you're from Oregon. Do you, what, what trails do you like? I'm, I live here. I live here on a regular basis. I don't do, I don't have time for trails. I don't have any of that time, but I'm going to make time. I'm going to make time to spend quality time with my family because that's important. My kids are getting older. They're going to hate me soon because they're going to be teenagers. Um, and I want to enjoy what I got left. Um, love myself better. It's okay to do more self-care. Um, 
It's not that I don't love myself, because I think that each one of us have our issues with, you know, our personal selves, our personal um, outlooks, our, our mentality, our bodies, our um, physique, how we show each other, um, you know, the type of people we are, um, how you present yourself um, specifically out there in the world. Um, I, I need to sit down and say, okay, it's okay to do something for me. It's okay to uh, want to have coffee with a friend. It's okay to to want to take some time to myself. I've been waking up in the morning earlier than usual just to have a little extra time. Make my coffee, watch YouTube, uh, sit at the dining room table, um, read a book, you know, do do some some crafts that I like to do. I like to crochet. I'm making my son his blanket, which was supposed to be for Christmas, but I don't have it done. So it is what it is. That's a self-care thing. Um, I bought um, some different activities for myself um, for around the house, like little hobbies, um, fixer-upper things that I can do, uh, furniture to repaint, um, things that I wanted to do outside um, in my mini backyard because I live in a town home. Um, I have a, a flower bed. I want to plant some flowers. I like plants. I propagate plants. I sell my plants on uh, Marketplace, um, on Facebook. Um, I like doing those activities. I need to do more of those activities because I feel like all I do is work. And it's okay because I have goals. But I need to have more self-time, more self-care. Um, notes from 2022. 2022 showed me that I need to be more prepared for future events, plain and simple. Uh, if you watch my channel, I've been on the struggle bus. Um, I need to work um, all my side hustles. So Amanda knows more than just gig jobs. I, I can do more than just an app to make additional money. Some of those things don't work for me anymore. Um, some might. We're going to give it a shot. We're going to try all the side hustles that I can think of. Um, I'm still on the search for the perfect evening job where I'm not working weekends and I'm not working a full-time shift. I just want to work um, a little additionally. Um, my husband is going to go back to um, redoing some furniture um, reselling that stuff on Marketplace, Craigslist, things like that. Um, he also has a few other niches that he can do. He's very crafty, very handy um, as far as like repairing things and, and doing things. He likes to work with his hands. He likes working with wood, um, things like that. So we're going to bust it all out. We're going to just do what we can, make as much as we can, um, and make it quick. Make it quick. It doesn't have to be a chore. It can be a quick side hustle here, a quick side hustle there. Um, I'm going to work this gig app. I'm going to go out and do this. Um, we've talked about because we only have one car. Continuing to save for that delivery car is a high priority. We've got a lot of these priorities and these lower priorities as well. Christmas, Christmas to me is a low priority. This is going to be nice if we can do this. But it's not an absolute high priority. Back to school. Kids need back to school stuff. Summertime, we're going to need that um, child care. We're going to need, you know, money to dip in for summer activities. Um, vet emergency is important. Savings is important. Retirement's important, especially since we're not going to be um, allocating towards that with regular, you know, I'm not, I'm not a regular W-2 paycheck earner. Having a month ahead is so important. Having the emergency fund, being able to keep up with our main goal is to buy a home. Um, I also will touch a little more about that probably at the be at maybe mid mid January, um, end of January, possibly uh, beginning of February to get everything um, figured out as far as how we're gonna buy a house, what type of house we're gonna buy. Um, 
we'll know more then. But these are my goals. Um, they're simple, basic. Um, they're not too high in my opinion. I didn't make these all, you know, higher like I'd like them to be um, because I want to be realistic. So leave me a comment below. Let me know if there's something you're going to be doing different for 2023 and how you plan on either boosting that income, um, what goals you have. Are they realistic? Um, I don't, I want more than 10k for my house savings, but is that realistic for this next year? I don't know. We'll see. That's all I have for you today. Bye.